Yo, what is going on guys? We're back here with another video. Sorry, it's been a week. I had to move into a new place. So here we are. A bunch of players dropped out of the NBA draft and went back to college or stayed in Europe. And this is the new lottery with new first round predictions. So interesting enough with this one, the New York Knicks won the draft lottery allegedly. And they pick LaMelo Ball. Well, LaMelo Ball. So the Knicks have a 9% chance of moving up to the number one. Let me take some water. Do I think this is going to happen? Probably not. Probably not. But if Tom Thibodeau is the head coach, LaMelo Ball is just going to go there. I completely see them. Is there other options? Yeah, but like LaMelo Ball, RJ Barrett, Mitchell Robinson, supposedly Kevin Knox. You know, I really don't know what you're supposed to try and do with a team like that. But either way, with the second pick, the Atlanta Hawks will draft Anthony Edwards. Anthony Edwards coming out of Georgia is a shooting guard who's 6'5". He's a freshman. He's well, he's well versed. Okay. And the thing is, is the big problem with a guard like Anthony Edwards is he was inefficient in college. He wasn't the most efficient player. Okay. He has all the physical tangibles and physical profile you would want from a modern day guard or wing, but he seems to have like a lackluster awareness or doesn't really have the motor needed to be an, like an all NBA defender. Does he have the skills, the traits needed to be one? Yes. Does he have the skills, the traits needed to be one of the best offense scorers in the game? Yes. Will it be like Wiggins and he might not put it together? Maybe. I do see a lot of Andrew Wiggins in the sense of the work ethic and the motor. Will you be able to put it all together or will we be looking down in five years time and saying, damn, he had all the physical profile, he had all the intangibles, will he have put them together? That's something we will have to wait here and sit and see. Next with the third pick, the Golden State Warriors. It says Obi Toppin. We can just agree this is not happening. The third pick and Anthony Edwards and LaMelo Ball were the first two picks of the draft. The third pick, the Golden State Warriors, which select James Wiseman. He's not taking Obi Toppin. They're not taking Obi Toppin, okay? Obi Toppin isn't that great of a defender at an NBA level. Yeah, he did pretty good for the college level, but he's got concrete feet. He's not laterally quick, okay? And they already got Eric Pascal to replace Jeremy Green. Now, put James Wiseman in there. Let him sit behind and not feel pressured to play behind Marquise Chris and Kevon Looney and Draymond Green. Then when their contracts expire after this coming season, they're going to be gone. James Wiseman will be put in the like in his second year as a starter. He'll probably make the all-star team because he would have had a whole year to develop. They're not going to take Obi Toppin. They have Eric Pascal. Now, I do see the Minnesota Timberwolves should take Denny Avita or an Onyeka Okongwu. Denny Avita, he's just a perfect point forward to like have... Literally, this is how I see it. You got, you should run this almost like the Orlando Magic's ran in 08. Have Carl Anthony Towns just work in the middle. D. Lo, Denny, Denny Avita, you know Malik Beasley and Josh and Kobe, all just spacing the floor, just shooting threes. They only shoot threes and passing ball. Carl Anthony Towns does everything and everything on the inside. Now the other option is is you can turn Carl Anthony Towns into the next Anthony Davis if you get Oneka Okongu, put Okongu at the center position, then put Carl Anthony Towns at the power forward position where he's an insane mismatch. Boom. But Denny Avita is perfect because he's like the next Hito Turkaloop, but he's gonna be better than Hito Turkaloop. And it's just like honestly, I think this is a really good fit. So over here, the Cavs, I would see them taking Obi Toppin. The Cavaliers take Obi Toppin to replace Kevin Love. Kevin Love gets traded during the season or at the end of the offseason. It's just they're going full rebuild. Take Obi Toppin. Obi Toppin can play sometimes center in a pinch, but he's mainly a power forward. Maybe have him learn, get mentored by Kevin Love, and Kevin Love show him the ropes. But James Wiseman is not going to the Cavs. I just noticed I need to cut my nails. Detroit Pistons take Tyrese Halliburton. I, I can see that. I have said before the Pistons should take LaMelo Ball if he's there, but LaMelo Ball isn't there. So I do see that Tyrese Hilburn, again, he's Sean Livingston post-injury with a jump shot who doesn't like to drive at the rim. He's more of a three and pick uh, passer. So he's great. Imagine having Luke Kennard, Sved, Tony Snell, 
Tyrese Halliburton and then maybe like throw down at low, you know, your big guy Blake Griffin and you know, Derrick Rose is going to teach him stuff. So, and I've said this before, Chicago Bulls should draft Isaac Okoro, but if Isaac Okoro is still there and they do trade Zach Levine before the draft, you should draft Devin Vassell or Patrick Williams. I love Isaac Okoro. I think he's the best defender in this draft, but he does have a chance of becoming Michael K. Gilchrist if he never develops offensively. And if he does develop offensively, he will become maybe the next coming of Andre Iguodala, which I think is worth it. The Charlotte Hornets take Onyeka Okongu. Uh, yeah, I see this. They need a center. Nobody wants a Zeller brother as their center. This guy is putting next to Mikhail Bridges, Miles Bridges and P.J. Washington, Devontae Graham, and Terry Rozier. Mm, that's a good just rebound, rebound, rebound. I don't know if his shot will create, develop, but we'll see what happens. Kelly and Hayes to the Wizards. So I have the Wizards taking Tyrese Halliburton too. And, you know, Kelly and Hayes and Tyrese Halliburton could flip-flop on where they go. So if... The Pistons take Hayes, then I have Halburn going to the Wizards or vice versa. But Hayes, look, John Wall is awesome. But the thing is, Kelly Hayes just has a really high floor. He's sort of a taller version of Mike Conley. But he doesn't really have a high ceiling, but he doesn't have a low floor. So Sacramento Kings, Devin Vassell, they're saying. I think the Kings, if they're going to take anyone, well... They're either going to Devin Vassell if they try to get rid of Buddy Heald, but if they don't, I think they're going to take Patrick Williams. Pat Williams just seems like a perfect... They're going to take one of the FSU guys, both really good 3 and D wings, both athletic freaks. So we're going to go over here to the late lottery. Look, that's Pat Williams right there, if you guys were unknown. So the Phoenix, they have the New Orleans Pelicans over here. So I'm going to say Devin Vassell or Aaron Naismith is going to, Naismith is going to go to New Orleans Pelicans. They just need to stretch the floor. Phoenix Suns take Pat Williams or Devin Vassell if, like, whoever's there. San Antonio, I say they're going to take Precious Achua, not Josh Green, and the Portland Trailblazers. They'll take Sadiq Bey if Williams, Vassell, or Neesmith aren't there. Then they'll pop Sadiq Bey. I completely believe that. Tyrese Maxey, I can completely see going into the Lions with Magic. It makes complete sense. Boston Celtics are not going to take Precious Achua because he's going to be off the board by then. So I'm going to have them taking Stick Smith. That guy seems like one of their guys. Stick Smith or who's another? Daniel Turo we'll have right there. I might be just overreaching. I think Josh Green will go to the Timberwolves right here. Dallas Mavericks. I can see them taking RJ Hampton. Alex Povetsky to the Nets. I see him going to the Heat. And the Nets taking care of Lewis Jr. I just see Alex Povetsky being taken by the Heat. That's just such a Heat move for them to take Alex Povetsky. Polvetsky. So Tyrell Terry's an interest guy. He's 6'1, 160 pounds. He seems like a decent Utah pick. Like he'll develop in the back. So we're gonna say Daniel Toro got picked up by I don't even know if he's that good of a center. We're gonna say Daniel Toro is gonna go to the Bucks because Stick Smith got picked by the Celtics. Six pits back. Jaden Daniels right here. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, because I think they're going to give up on the Ben Simmons experience after they'll see what uh, Embiid can do by himself. Leandro Balamaro, I do see him going there. I see him just going to a contender. I'd love him. He's a really good pair. They say Daniel Turo is going to fall to 25. Nah. So if Daniel Turo has gone, who is left at the center position? I'm like blanking on centers right now. Uh, Xavier Tillman. They will have the... The Thunder take Xavier Tillman. Then Jamius Ramsey, one of the best scorers in this draft. Zeke Nanji. They've already taken this, so they're going to get a shooter. I don't even know. They'll probably take, like, Cassius Stanley. Then Grant Riller, who I love. He's one of the best older guys in the draft. Nico Mannion. I think you go there with Theo Maldon to the Lakers. And then we'll have, what's his face? Zeke Nanji go to the Boston Celtics at 30. That was an interesting interesting little thing let me hear your opinion down below i kind of have to ask it by the end it's just a lot new videos every other day like comment subscribe and you guys have a great day because i know i will so guys peace oh